you buy a cheek riser, you obviously get the riser, some VHB strips, and an alcohol pad. I think what makes this design special is the ability to place the riser wherever you'd like. Um, essentially, you know, positioning of the riser, positioning of the cheek, where you run your stock, you know, this is all um, shooter preference, right? So, you know, you can put it wherever you like and you know, run it that way. Most risers have a fixed position. Obviously, it's not gonna be the full length of the stock. So with our riser, you can pinpoint the perfect position or placement, um, you know, for your style shooting or whatever. All right, so let's go over step one. Basically, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this alcohol pad and we're going to clean the bottom of the riser and we're also gonna clean the top of the stock. All right, and all you're gonna to wanna to do is just let that air dry. All right, let's talk about placement of the VHB tape. So essentially you wanna cover all the surface area on the riser. We'll just kind of overlap it on the first. So as far as placement's concerned, I typically run it somewhere right around here in the middle. All right, so just get our ideal position. Supply some downward pressure. You basically have to let this cure for about 24 hours. Um, that's what the manufacturer of the tape recommends. Um, that's what I recommend as well. Um, keep it in a dry, dry area. Don't expose it to water or moisture because if moisture gets under the tape, then it's not gonna adhere properly. There you go.